The situation at the conclusion of A Dance with Dragons is an interesting one. The wall is in a state of utter chaos, with violence seemingly about to break out between the Night's Watch, Stannis' men and the Free Folk. That in this chaos, the Lord Commander of the Watch, Jon Snow, is seemingly assassinated by his own men. From the moment the book was released, speculation was rampant as to if Jon was actually dead, and if so, what were the chances he would be coming back? Looking back through forums and subreddits, it seems that majority of users did think John would be back in some capacity. As the show overtook the book, we now know John does come back from the dead. However, a fair question to ask is, is the way he gets brought back in the show the same as how he will in the books? For me, there are several key factors that suggest that John's resurrection in the book will play out very differently. Mostly, how the situation at the wall in the show is very different. With none of Stannis' men there, the free folk already settled in the gift, and no riot about to break out. Most importantly, the fact that Melisandre, who brings John back in the show, is nowhere near close enough to the wall to directly bring John back. More so when you consider that in the show, John is let to die alone, while in the book he is surrounded by hundreds of people who will surely notice John's dead body a lot sooner than in the show, where the wall is practically deserted. So the question is, if things are going to be different, what will happen? For me, there are two key factors in the book I think will drastically change what happens. First, the show's lack of walking. The show only shows Bran as having the ability to walk, where in the book, John, as well as the other Stark children, also have some capacity to do it. The other factor I think might play a big role is Val, the wildling princess who is missing from the show. If you haven't watched my video on who she is, I recommend you do that as it will help with what I'm about to talk about. It should be in the pinned comments of this video. What is important to remember is I think there is a link between John's walking abilities and Val. Both very much seem linked to the old gods and the true north. The show, not showing the other Stark's children's walking abilities, was one of my biggest disappointments. In the book, it's clear that just like Bran, Jon also has this power, albeit with a lot less control than Bran. So far, Jon has only had wolf dreams, where he enters Ghost's mind while he's sleeping. This was actually an important part of the plot in The Clash of Kings during Jon's expedition with Corrin Halfhand, as it's during one of these wolf dreams that Jon first spots Mance's army. For John, the wolf dreams start to happen more frequently after he's gone north of the wall. What is interesting here is in the book, as we get John's inner monologue, we understand that he almost has a sort of telepathic connection with his direwolf ghost. Ghost always seems to know how John is feeling and is there at the right time. So how does this link back to John's death? During the single Melisandre chapter in A Dance with Dragons, we see she has visions of John in the flames. Melisandre sees John be a man then a wolf, then a man again. This could simply be a reference to John being a warg, but I think there's more to it than that. When a warg dies for a brief moment, they have the ability to transfer their consciousness into the animal they are linked to. We see this happen in the prologue of A Dance with Dragons, where we see from the point of view of a wildling warg who dies, and we see the process of him becoming one with his wolf. So, in this context, you can look at John's resurrection and mouse visions in a different light. You can maybe interpret it as John dying, walking into Ghost, then being brought back. There could also be some precedence with this as well, as Jon's last words was Ghost, and during the Red Wedding, some of Rob Stark's last words were his direwolf's name, Grey Wind. This has sparked a theory that Rob walked as he died, only for Grey Wind to also die soon after. However, this idea is still just speculation, but could present some precedence and mirroring. You'd be fair to ask yourself, if this walking idea is what happens in the Windsor Windsor, why did the show decide to do it differently? Well, in my view, it's quite simple. When the show started, A Dance with Dragons was not out yet, so it could be reasonable to think that maybe the showrunners were not aware at the time how important walking would be later on. Therefore, by the time you get to Jon's death, they hadn't given near enough time to build up the lore around walking, showing Jon's walking abilities in the show, be it just wolf dreams, might make Jon's resurrection a little bit too obvious. So at this point, you might be thinking, okay, John walking, but how does Val, a seemingly random and unimportant character, fit into all of this? After all, she's cut from the show. Well, I very much believe just because something or someone was cut doesn't mean it's not important to the book. George R. R. Martin has said as much himself. I think the show, in the end, used the pieces it had to make their version of the story work. So what do I propose Val's role in all this is? I believe she may have a role, or maybe even be the person to bring John back, and I think Melisandre took her place in the show. There is a lot of speculation that Val is more than meets the eye. She is very mysterious and seemingly has a strong link to the old gods. Some think she is a healer of some kind, or a witch or a priestess of the old gods. The opposite of Melisandre, who worships the god of fire, the red god, Raelor. Now, the evidence for this is very complex, and is a video in itself that I'm working on as we speak. 
But when you bear this idea in mind and how John could be walked into Ghost after his death, you can begin to see how she could be the mechanism to bring him back. Especially when you think about the idea that walking is so connected to the old gods and the true north, just like Val is. An idea I've seen suggested on Reddit is that maybe Ghost might be sacrificed to release John's consciousness. And that would be the price John has to pay to come back. As Moving Man's Door told Danny when she was trying to save Drogo, only death can pay for life. I think another factor here I think will differ from the books is like Catelyn, like Beric, who came back from the dead, there will be a price to pay for Jon coming back too. Maybe that will be Ghost, maybe it will be the burning of Shireen, maybe Jon's personality will change like Beric, or he'll bring part of Ghost back with him as their minds meld into one. We may know Jon comes back but I still think there will be a lot of surprises along the way. I think Val will play a role in that in some capacity. I am working on that video explaining why some people think there's more to her, where she could be a priestess or a witch or some kind of healer from the old gods. And there's even a theory out there that she's related to a group called the Moonsingers from Bravos. And that's how her and Dalla know so much. And in fact, there's into her singing to Gilly's Baby. I think that video might actually be the longest one I've done so far because there's a lot to break down, which is why I've kind of separated that part off from this video. I'd expect to see it in like a couple of weeks. Thanks for watching and click subscribe if you enjoyed this video.